Hello everybody, and welcome back to uh, Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 5. In this part, we're going to be starting the second level, and uh, I'm going to have to explain this sec, this bit. Basically, at the start of each mission, except for the first one, you get to choose one of three bonuses. In this one, it's either 300 gold, 10 footmen, or 45 peasants. And I think that the 10 footmen will be a lot more useful than the peasants, and that the gold is completely inconsequential because there's hardly any of it. Let's go. The town of Strongbow is well named. The best archers live there, and I need archers for my army. Yep, we have archers soon, once we get to the town of Strongbow. Our objectives are capture Strongbow within a week. This is a... Uh, this is um, basically saying if you don't have a town within the week, then you lose. And it's generally how this, this series works. And of course, it almost survive. fast to get to the, to the town within a week, but we can afford to make a few stops along the way. This is an archer town, it's another stationary building, and surprisingly enough, you can buy archers from it. Let's go and find some skeletons, shall we? Archers, they have a range shot. They have a range of half, so therefore they uh, they can shoot half of the field, and then their shots have half power. So if these skeletons were one space further forward, then this would be doing more. This would be doing double their damage. Now that we've got to access to someone, we can't attack anyone. These are skeletons, they're quite weak indeed. They're the level one. They're the undead's version of the peasant, really. They have five speed and ten initiative, four HP, and base attack and defense stats of one and two, I think. Undead, they're being to blind and mind control like um, any or all, all other undead. That's basically what skeletons are. They're not really that good. And now we'll kill them. Isabel will get some kills here as well. I really should have targeted the other the other skeleton scale. Because now they're gonna kill a couple of couple of See? See? Once I cross this line, the arrow, the arrow uh, symbol is a point rather than, uh, rather than it's snapped. This is an artifact. It's a four leaf clover. It gives, it gives luck, surprisingly enough. If you go to the second tab, you can see your artifacts and spellbook. Each, uh, each artifact has a uh, an area on the body with wh which it uh, can be equipped to, and the uh, four leaf clover clo clover clover is in the pocket section. Useful, useful to know, I suppose. Let's have a look at the archers, shall we? They're uh, they're ranged units, so therefore they're always very useful indeed. They have the shooter ability, which lets them shoot. Suppose, Living creatures, and they have an ability called Scatter Shot, which basically means uh, they can attack an area three by a three by three area at half power. I think, yeah, at half power. 
and I think that scatter shot does is affected by uh, range as well. So uh, fair enough. It allows you to see a lot, and what it allow, what, not, one thing that it allows us to see is the city. This is Strongbow. It's guarded by a very weak force. Lots of peasants and a few footmen. Nice to know. Alright, I'm personally going to find these peasants so I can get some more. Beeline for the for the city. Seems we need to be there in a week. Let's rush to the city. And thus a fight ensues. Let's go. Benediction. Peasants, because that's all the kills there. Some ten footmen would have been a lot, lot more useful than forty-five peasants. And we already have sixty peasants, sixty-six peasants. That's completely unnecessary. I'm going to block these footmen with, uh, from attacking the peasants. Because my uh, my fitness won't take that, won't won't be killed by this. And now, peasants shall be cut and then shot at. I'm 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 uh, I'm in the middle of this. So, ooh, um, recruitment, archery, expert leadership, or basic defense. Again, I'm not taking defense because it hasn't got very good uh, very good bonuses. Recruitment basically means that uh, that if your um, <coughs> if this if the hero is stationed in a town, then the level one, two, and three creatures in that town get a growth boost. I'll talk about that uh, when, we, when we look at the town. Expert leadership archery is not part of my build. Stop giving it to me. I'm going to take recruitment because it'll be useful now. We have a new objective now that we've captured Strongbow. The objective is to assemble 100 archers. Now, let's, uh, ooh, dear. let's go to the town, shall we? We can look at a town by double clicking when the town symbol is, uh, yeah, by double clicking on it on the map or by double clicking the, the town icon down here. And thus we get a, a flyby of the city, which is completely pointless, so I'm going to skip it. This town has one building, which is the village hall. Okay? It is a town level one. We can build uh, the blacksmith or the peasant huts right now. I think I'm going to build the peasant huts. We can build, uh, yeah. uh, I should probably have showed that. This button allows you to build town structures, which, as it says. Allows you to build things, basically. Um, this button allows you to recruit creatures. This button allows you to upgrade creatures. This button shows town info, which basically it shows your town level, the race, any fortifications, and the uh, monetary income of the town. And a quick bio bio biography. Um, and the, these buttons allow you to <coughs> allow you to swap between towns. These buttons correspond to buildings that you will build in the course of building up the town. If I said building enough, for, yeah. I'm going to recruit these peasants because they're doing things I can recruit. Yeah, once you uh, if you have a unit selected, then uh, it, when you recruit them. Then they'll have this blue glow around the picture. You can press this to recruit. Press this to buy all of the creatures available to you. And these buttons decide whether you want to uh, 
just uh, these, these those buttons uh, allow you to buy more or fewer creatures if you wish to do so. I don't really see why you would, but uh, to move creatures around, you can simply click on them and drag them around to where you want. Therefore, the peasants and have 88. Right. Now that we've seen the basics of town management, let's wander around and collect some more things, shall we? It's a campfire, it gives you an amount of money and a random amount of random resources. So it gave us five mercury there. Wood. No, I'm clicking on the town building. Yeah. Now we're going to build a blacksmith, which allows you to make siege weapons. War machines. Stop, stop, stop saying siege weapons. The only siege weapon in this game is a cat. You already have it. Um, blacksmith allows you to build war machines, and thus, the town is level 3, and therefore we get access to the next row of buildings. The town hall, which increases gold income. The archer towers, which, the archer, archer tower, which allows you to recruit archers, and the pez and the the farms, which boosts the growth per week of peasants and conscripts. Conscripts, yeah, they are conscripts. conscripts. Right. And uh, you should probably, I should probably go through that. This this number here shows the uh, the number of creatures you will get of this type in the uh, in this so, um, number of creatures you will get per week at the start of each week that number of creatures is added to the number of creatures available to rec for recruitment I gotta wander down here and find some things to get access to buildings to stationary map buildings now we build the farms. And the farms boost your uh, your creature growth by five. You see? It's a horde building, as you can see. You might not be able to see. It says horde plus five. Yeah. The farm yeah. The farms oh. the farms boosts the the uh, peasant growth by five. It's not four, so Let's fight some pixies, shall we? Again, we're going to pursue and engage everything, because if we don't, then we don't get maximum experience. Experience is what, we're not, what we want in this game. I can't reach, oh, I can't reach those. Those. I can reach those. Right. I should use pixies. Messing things up. I shot those pixies, even though there was a chance that I couldn't kill them, was uh, mainly because I can get the uh, um, It was mainly because these footmen can reach these pixies. I realised the archers could she could have shot those pixies. However, ouch. however. Um, and it would have done full damage. However, the footman could reach them before they got a turn, so uh, that way they both got they, Neither of them got a turn. I lost an archer there, which was annoying. This is an ore pit. Basically, it boosts... it... Uh, well, it says that it provides two ore per day. And thus, it is invaluable. All of these buildings are invaluable. You don't want to miss out on them. The archers think he's my way, but they say that Ashwood rejects the rule of the king. I have to settle this with the mayor. Mm -hmm. Damn it, I should have, I should have talked about the pixies. Oh, pixies are level one, they're very, very frail indeed, but uh, their attacks have no counter, they, they, they don't get counter attack. have a new objective, which is to capture Ashwood, which is the enemy town, along with our other objective of get uh, 
on a hundred archers. Next, I think we should go for the sawmill. Hang on, just a sec. Let's uh, go to the buildings. If you click on this button, then you, uh, you can have a look at all of the buildings available. However, if we just... Uh, If you hold the right mouse button over any of these buildings at the moment, you can see the red text down there, upgrade level limit for the town that for the building in this town has been reached. Basically that means you can't build it. Therefore, wood is useless to, to us at the moment. We need ore to be able to, to, be able to make the uh, uh, to be, yeah, to be able to make the um, <clears throat> The thing, the I'm gonna prove the peasants. In order to make the archer town, we also we also need money. You see the red um, hammer icon there. It means we can build something, but we can't afford it. An archer's tower around there to the grab it. These peasants want to join? They're welcome to. We pick up the word simply for. because I think it's a good idea. I know, it's not a good word. Uh, 40 archers would mess me up quite badly, so I'm not going to see the game's like. More peasants! More cro more uh, creature growth. Okay. Blood maidens are there, got it. Gold. Why not? Ah, see the uh, the hammer I've got has changed to yellow, so I can build something there. Let's build an archer's tower. And thus, you can build archers now. Several blood maidens. Blood maidens are very fast. So, uh, yeah, blood maidens are very fast indeed. 7 speed and 14 initiative. They also have very high attack power, but they are very frail indeed. They're, the they're part of the dungeon faction, and the dark elves. And they also have strike and return. Think of them as harpy hags, except for, uh, sorry, as, as harpies from Heroes of Might and Magic 3, if you haven't experienced their, these before. I'm just going to defend, because I can't reach them. Oh, what am I not surprised? However, well, these particular units don't have the annoying uh, no retaliation that uh, Harpy had. But there are upgrades to get them, so. This is a Marletto Tower. It boosts the defense of one hero permanently. Of, not of one hero. Of any hero that that uh, goes to see it. Yeah, about Twenty minutes. Uh, yeah. So um, those are permanent stat stat buildings, basically very useful indeed. Let's fight some pixies, shall we? This time, we can actually you know, double click on them to see what they're like. So, yeah. We shall indeed. Again, you can reach. I think damage would do a lot better than that. Uh, would do a lot more good than benediction here. Yeah. Seems I can get a kill here anyway. Mm -hmm. If we uh, double click on the pixies. Pixies are very frail 
they don't really do that much damage. However, they just like the Godlings, they're very fast. And uh, they have no enemy retaliation, so uh, if they attack, then enemies can't retaliate. They also fly, so they can go over obstacles, and they uh, have a spray attack, which basically means that um, if if um, pixies attack a stack, any stacks, they, they, they attack in like a three stack, a uh, three square, three square, a three place arc in front of them. So the, uh, the creatures on either side of the, uh, of the target get attacked as well. Quite a pain. Realise now, don't you, why uh, why I decided to run away from the archers last turn? Because uh, otherwise, both of them would have got targeted at the same time. Right. Now, let's see if I can rush down to the archers' tower. No, I can't. Darn it. Right on. They uh, build up. Don't they? Yeah, um, if a building has, if, if a city has this green um, symbol on it, then that means that uh, the, basically the, the city is finished being developed, it can't be built up, built up anymore. And thus, no losses were had. So I probably am just going to, oh, that's a, that's a crystal revelation, it boosts knowledge of the hero. should probably go, go over the stats of the hero. Attack boosts the attack of your creatures, defense boosts the defense of your creatures. Spell power affects the, uh, sorry, spell power if it increases the effect and duration of spells, and knowledge affects the number of ma amount, amount of mana that you have. It's ten per point, by the way. Gold uh, ore and wood income from towns and mines is hard. No income for sulfur gems and crystal. Ugh. That's that's not nice. Let's fight some plague zombies, shall we? Ouch! That hurt a lot. Tactics or battle frenzy? I'm taking battle frenzy. This battle frenzy is a part of my build. Yeah, um, that turned out to be a lot more plague zombies than I expected. I should have expected it, but I didn't. And thus, I suffered for it. Learn what the numbers mean. Learn what the words mean. A few is one to three. Several is four to seven, I think. is 70. Basically what I learned there was, uh, what I uh, remembered there was that a horde can be up to up to 100. So uh, there were about 80 or so there. These are scouts. These guys are annoying. They're ranged units and they poison. Very painful indeed. Being dungeon troops, there are never going to be very many of them. However, they are very painful indeed because they well they they have a chance of poison. So um, yes, these guys are pain. Quite, quite bad. Ouch! Stop killing things. It's not nice. So uh, basically, the tactic when facing enemy uh, ranged units is to rush them as fast as you possibly can. Get up close to them, and make sure they don't get shoot too many shots off. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm, I'm gonna attack him. There's no point in me not. <laughs> sure, benediction might be nice, but at the same time, I don't need it. It's not necessary. Stop killing my peasants. I'm losing money there. Yeah, there's no easy way to, to deal with. There's no easy way to deal with shooters that when you don't have magic yet. Uh, put it that way. Let's just kill these guys. And thus they were dead. And thus they were the dead. Cut. Ouch. When you're dealing with shooters, always, always try to uh, try to limit the number of shots that they take, because they're usually going to target your archers. I lost a lot there. I'm wondering whether it was worth it. I'm simply wandering around here to try and get as much experience as possible. Experience is useful. That's lots. Lots is not that bad. Lots is, I think it can be up to 50, I think, as far as I can tell. How many is it going to be this time? It's going to be about 50. Yep, yep, that's about right. Instead of uh, instead of trying to rush the zombies, it's just wait around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to try and rush um, slow walkers when you have ranged units in your stacks because the ranged units can make pepper pots out of uh, out of them before they get to you, making the actual fight a lot easier. These guys aren't a threat. Again, they're nowhere near us. Again, just wait for them to come and, uh, and shoot these guys. Yay, luck! Luck is double damage, basically. And it's very nice indeed. The zombies are getting closer, and that's fine. And they can slash out of These zombies can't uh, can't reach me from there. Yeah. Just deal with as large a stack as you possibly can. Without it being uh, overwhelming, as it were. Yeah, basically. And cut. These guys, because although they haven't got the so they aren't in range? They should be in range. What? Oh, they should be in range. I don't understand. Oh, well. I'm not, I'm not perfectly certain on how the, uh, the range thing works. But hey, oh well. Right. We have a choice of having diplomacy, which increases the chance of, uh, with... Increases the chance that random stacks on the field will join you. I'm not going to be using that because it's not part of my build. It's kind of useless. Tactics, which I'm not taking. Actually, I might take it. I'm not sure. Um, no, no, I'm not taking it. Um, expert attack or basic luck. And I'm going to be taking basic luck because luck is a, is a part of my build. Uh, more experience for me. Can't go over there. Fine. Okay, another peasant hut that I didn't notice before. And I didn't notice, I mean, I couldn't get to. Hey, peasants. Sorry for nearly killing off the rest of you. That's a mercenary, uh, mercenary camp. It boosts your attack by one permanently. That's yeah, another one. Grab this first. Before the growth is, uh, is wasted. That's a rock. 
surprisingly enough, it's a rock. Can't really do much about it. It's just a rock. We could definitely come with that do. Nothing. It doesn't do anything. Good. Uh, what I wouldn't give to be able to use caravans right now. Ooh. This is a random this is a uh, an event. Basically, what it does is it'll either give you a small amount of gold or some gems. Yeah, yeah, the gold. Excellent. That's barracks, let's grab it. Very Should have picked up the uh darn it. Should have picked up the peasants. Wasting movement points. Fool, stop me stop wasting movement points. It's gone out pretty far in this, uh, in this game, which is really nice. Pick up this attack, that's nice. More plague zombies, only lots. There. So there. With vastly increased army size. Nicely done. These peasants. Ooh. Could grab dark magic as well. Um. No. Um. Dark magic isn't a part of my build. I'm not taking it. Um, I'll I'll say this: um, havens. Ha ha each um, town type is uh, each town type is associated with two magic types. And havens, havens are associated with uh, white magic and dark magic. And as such, they don't get much much uh, spell power. Light magic and dark magic are both buffing or debuffing abilities. Hey, it's, that's that's the city. Great. What is the city guarded with? Come, come on. You can see how the how messed up the cursor is. Like that. Jeez. Um, a horde, a throng, lots, and a throng, and. Um, a fort, I think. Resources can go away. I'm not going to I'm really interested in them. I'm going to grab these footmen, though. More troops are over, but always appreciated. Can grab the Sword of Might, guard by some blade dancers. Definitely going to fight. Because fighting is good for experience. Blade dancers. They're, uh, Another another unit we haven't seen before. <laughs> Basically, I think what I'm going to be doing is uh, is I'm going to be showing any any uh, fight with new with really new units. Yeah, with new units, new enemy units, I mean. and. Uh, and explaining about them. Um, blade dancers, the high attack, they're a high initiative. They're not great speed though, which are uh, not really that good. And they're quite frail. I don't personally like them. Um, they don't have any special abilities. They're basically just very, very basic speed attackers, except they're not very good at speed attacking anyway. And cut you. Goodbye. Yeah, leg dancers are very bad indeed. They're very, they're very bad units for, for level two units. This is another artifact. The blade of the sword of might. It boosts your attack by two. When equipped in the weapon slot, the right hand slot. Oh no, 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 zombies! These are basic zombies. We don't talk about these now. Basic zombies. They're not plague zombies. Basic zombies are just like plague zombies, except they're slightly weaker in the stats. 2-2 two, two versus 2-1. Two, they have one less initiative, and uh, they don't have the uh, the weakening strike thing that plague, plague zombies have.
Go on, shuffle up, shuffle up. Last benediction was passed. It is necessary. Let me shoot plague zombies. Plague zombies are by far the most threatening things in here because they have one more, uh, one more attack. Unless they can do <laughs> much double the damage that uh, the normal zombies can. Goodbye. precise reason why it's because uh, higher, uh, larger stack deals more damage than the smaller stack, surprisingly enough. We do get two um, archer shots now at, uh, at full damage. And stab. That is worth whis whisking. It's worth whisking! It's worth risking, certainly. I've got ore pit, which has been completely useless because I don't need it anymore because I've got the building to do. Yeah, another, another mercenary camp. Huh. Odd. Let's go. No, oh, not complaining. Get in. That's a shield of crystal ice. Come on, fight. Another week of deadly calm. Really? These are Minotaurs. Dungeon troop. Uh, built to tank and not much else. Um, Minotaurs have, uh, yeah, they have high attack, they also have high defense, and they have high, they have, they have low, high attack, low defense, and high HP. And they also have quite low speed, so I don't really like that. They also have bravery, which means their morale never goes below one. So you can always, uh, you can always expect a, a morale out of a out of a mentor, mentor, however you want to say. Yep. Um, Minotaurs, they're they're pretty cool actually. I, I, I personally I don't like them, but. Shoot you because you haven't reached yet. Come on, man. Ow, that hurt. He did. Full shot. Yeah, so I lost a footman there. Oh well. Crystallize, boosts your defense and and makes you uh, boost your defense by two and grants 50% protection from ice and fire spells. Oh no! Ooh, these are skeleton archers, they're an upgraded version of skeletons, making them a lot more useful because they don't have to, uh, to rush across the screen to get You just have to sit there. They, they, they just have to sit there and wait for you to come to them while being ripped to shreds by them all the time. Skeleton archers. Yeah, they're basically the same as skeletons, you know, the same stats. Except now they're shooters. Which is a pain. Come on, better hurry up and get over. Morale is very nice indeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I expected that. Should pretty, really just wait back. Should have, should really have just wait, waited back there for the archers to kill them. Oh well. Sorcery. Sorcery, expert leadership. Sorcery. Um, makes it so that if you cast a spell then uh, 
Yeah, if you cast a spell, then um, you don't go back along the, uh, the turn bar. Resourcefulness, which boosts the amount of gold and resources that, uh, that you find in uh, those resource, resource stacks. And also uh, automatically makes it so that the treasure chests give, one, give 500 more gold. And soldier's luck, which boosts the, uh, the chance for special abilities that your creatures have going off. Like uh, Bash for, for Footman. And I'm definitely going to be taking that, because that's a very good skill indeed. Probably stop now with uh, what was it approaching 45 minutes on my timer? Is that you know? Yeah, I'm going to stop. So, uh, yeah. oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. So, um, as you can see, um, we did a fair amount of fair amount of progress in this area, and. Uh, Happy to continue that next time. Goodbye, everybody.